All right guys, so what we have here today is uh, just the wiring up for the Nandex slash JR programmer or uh, even if you're using a modded matrix that you've used to uh, read your NAND. So anyways, uh, one second here. So if you order the, let me grab it here, JR programmer. Um, you are going to get a set of wires, three sets of wires. Uh, one of them is going to have this clip on the end to program your glitch chip, which mine that I'm going to be using are these knockoff Cool Runners. They actually work very well. Uh, the boot times, I've actually, this is a Falcon. I've never done a Falcon. Uh, the Jaspers I've done though, ho ho ho, they boot so fast, it's amazing. These things are like eight bucks on eBay. I got 10 of them for 60 bucks. So it's they're cheap, <laughs> they're really cheap. Um, so anyways, you're gonna get these wires. These are for the NAND. The other end will have three plugs on it. Cut the plugs off unless you have a quick solder board. I do not use quick solder boards, so I am using this. Uh, anyways, so what we're gonna be looking at is the headers. Over here, C1D7, or above C1D7, it's actually J1D2, and uh, what's that one? J2B1. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we are going to need to douse the pin, or the headers there, in flux. Sorry, it's zoomed in so you guys can see better. I use Kingbow here. Nice little Q-tip. And just soak it. You want to use flux. If you don't use flux, it's it's going to be a bad time, and your soldering is probably going to come out terrible. Not going to lie. Um, but don't get me wrong. I mean, even if you do use flux, your soldering could come out terrible. So go ahead and uh, tin up my soldering tip there. And so the main parts we're going to be focused on are the three pins over here. So it's going to be two, four, and six, and then one and three. So those, these two and those three. So we're going to go ahead and uh, add some solder to that. No, that doesn't want to stick. Let's see if we can. There we go. Some of these that don't have solder in them, it is going to be a... Uh, you have to like swish it around in there to get it to stick right, but it'll stick. Is my hand in the way? Kinda, not too bad, I hope. This is about the only way I can solder this point with the space I have right now. So yeah, if you just rub it around the top of the copper, you'll actually get some leftover solder on and it'll make it a lot easier for your solder to stick. Oops. Okay, so those five are done. So now let's just go ahead and solder the wires to these first. So we're actually going to start off with wire number five. Wire number five is going to be yellow and it's going to be the bottom last point we just did. So let me see. I'm going to try to put my arm around the camera because the way that I solder these, uh, it's just a habit. I kind of solder these backs at an angle a little bit. See if I can get in here right. Uh, okay. Ooh, actually, that works out really well. Might do this for the rest of them. Can you guys still see? Yep, you guys can see. So go ahead, touch that down. Don't let your soldering iron sit for more than a couple seconds because you will risk uh, <laughs> breaking stuff. Uh, no, you might just risk bubbling up the board there, and we don't want that to happen. So try not to make a whole lot of uh, contact with a lot of pressure. All right, so the next wire we're going to do is actually going to be our number four wire, which is going to be orange. And then we have one wire left on this bottom half. And let me put my soldering iron away really quick so I can get this out of the bundle. The last wire on this side is going to be brown. And we're actually going to come around the cap here. Uh, 
Alrighty. So there are our first three wires. Now, what you don't want to do here, you want to look with your eyes, not your hands. Don't go pulling on wires, especially when we get up here, there is an alternate point. Uh, you can't really see it well. It's right at the bottom of the HANA chip, and it's labeled R4B24, and it's the second copper piece there. And uh, that is, it, it rips up really easy. There's been countless amount of people that have said there, oh, I'm going to check my work real quick, and they can yank up on the thing, and there you, have, there you are. You're, you just broke your motherboard. you got to try to repair that trace or scrap it. All right, so the next wire we're going to do here is actually red, and it is going to go into our number three, which is actually the second one on top, and holy hell is my hand in the way. Let me see if I can get a better angle here. Oh, I'm just going to go this way because my hand's actually not too bad in the way there. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Alrighty, so... And i got to straighten out this black wire a little bit and twist the end. And actually, I don't like how much solder is there. There's not a whole lot so I'm just gonna dab a little bit of flux there my hands gonna be in the way for a second but you guys already know how to tin the hole so I'm just adding a little bit of excess there uh, just so that everything sits better no chances of uh, loose wires or anything so now we're gonna come around the cap here let me see if I can bend this wire a bit Oh, my hand's in the way a little. Oh, well, that's better, but the wire's kind of in the way, but you guys already get the point. Alrighty. Okay, so now we are going to count over. It's going to be 0. 0.6 and 7. So if you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, wait. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we already have the flux on there. So let's go over. Didn't see that glare there. We were actually on the wrong one there. So let's tin that top up a bit. Oh, stick already. I really should turn my smoke absorber on because that is going right into my face. So our blue wire is going to go right down here. And the green wire, I hope my hand wasn't in the way too bad. Oh, it shouldn't have been. It might have been though. If it was, I apologize. Wasn't even paying attention. I'm going to trim this wire a little bit. So after a while, if you don't use quick solder boards, <laughs> you will have to actually buy new wires because these uh, get really, really short, really, really fast. All right, just give me one second here. I got to put a little bit of flux on the wire. And then I'm going to tin it a bit. Alrighty, is my hand not in the way? Oh, one second though. See that? 
I don't think you can really see it how long the excess wire is we want to cut that in half you can kind of see it All right, guys, that is it. So we have all of our wires soldered now. So just make sure you have them in the correct order. From the top row up here, it wants to go red and then black. And then from the bottom row, you want to have brown on the outside, ye or, uh, orange on the inside, and then yellow last. And then up here, uh, blue is going to be on the even side. Green is going to be on the odd in uh, spot six and seven so or actually no that's one two three four that's five and six excuse me five and six um but yeah so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and stop the video this is just uh how to solder wires into your console your xbox fat to uh read the nands nand uh, excuse me i'm used to doing ps3s um so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and uh, hit the like button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop a comment. Um, subscribe. There's more videos. There's more content coming. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.